brand new legendary equipment is coming soon to rise of kingdoms and there's going to be a couple of other changes to the equipment system so today we're going to go over everything what's going on guys cheers it's like Lilith responded to me directly the other day I made a video talking about the 10 things that I want to see coming to rise of kingdoms as a result of its five-year anniversary and one of those things was new equipment I said I want a new epic equipment new legendary equipment and here we are literally like three days later and they actually sent out a mail saying we're getting new legendary equipment which is honestly insane I can't believe that I I'm just always right even when I'm not trying to be right I'm always right it's kind of crazy I can't believe it now guys before we jump in August is almost over which means my giveaway is almost over for this month if you guys haven't participated yet click the link in the description below all you have to do is follow me on social media that is literally it and you'll be entered to win the giveaway anyway let's jump right into the update here it says equipment system update and I literally woke up like an hour ago and when I saw this I had to like I was my eyes were blurry I'm like there's no way bro there's no way okay it says mysterious new equipment is coming to ROK the new equipment is all legendary quality it includes level 50 helms chests gloves legs and boots for cavalry infantry and archers as well as level 55 weapons for cavalry infantry and archers so here they are specifying that all of this equipment is going to be troop type specific so we're not going to get any you know universal equipment we're not going to get any leadership equipment we're not going to get any gathering equipment this is all going to be pvp fighting equipment at least my that's my assumption based on the way that they've worded it here so we have two levels of quality here level 50 and level 55 and if we jump into the blacksmith we can learn a couple of things about the equipment level here from what is already in the game okay so here we can see the level of the shield of the eternal empire is 45 and you'll find out that a majority of the equipment here in the game is level 45 if we come into the helmets for example this is the set piece for infantry level 45 we could see level 45 for the cavalry we could see uh it's level 50 for the siege equipment 45 for the glorious goddess and we can come through look at the boots shio's return is 45 sturdy boots of the empire is 45 pretty much all of this is level 45 okay except for this for some reason the siege equipment is level 50. Uh, but if we come over to the kvk equipment so that is the sacred dominion the hammer of the sun and moon and also the hydra's blast these are all level 50 and also if we take a look at the helmets that are from the kvk shop the pride of the khan the ancestral mask of night and also the helm of the conqueror these are all level 50. okay we're getting new equipment that is equivalent to the existing kvk equipment and the new weapons are going to be allegedly even stronger than the current weapons in the game that's what we can understand from just based on the level okay the new helms chests gloves legs and boots will have set effects for example equipping two or four items from the set for added bonuses okay so this appears to be if we assume that level 50 is stronger than level 45 in terms of stat bonuses then it looks to be like we're going to be getting new more powerful legendary equipment sets coming to rise of kingdoms very very interesting stuff the new weapons will not have set effects so that's good okay if you already have a, a set weapon or you already have a kvk weapon no need to upgrade to this new weapon if you can't or you don't want to or whatever the materials re required to forge the new equipment will be the same as the materials required to forge level 45 equipment of the same unit type and equipment slot so if we can assume that this equipment will be more powerful because it's a higher level then that's good news because it means that it's going to cost the same to craft a higher level more powerful piece of equipment as the current equipment in the game so really it will come down to uh, set bonuses i think whether you pick the 45 or the 50 depending on how big the stat gap is right right now the stat gap between 45 and 50 for the helmets for example is pretty big it's four percent okay so if we can craft something like this level 50 uh for the same amount as the level 45 then you just be getting more stats for the same amount of materials so that's good i'm glad that they didn't make it more expensive to do that 
so love to see it i think right now what's going to come down to whether you build the 45 or 50 equipment is going to be set bonuses right and what stats do you actually get there and i think that this is you know obviously we have a lot more to go through with this mail but i'm excited because this is going to add more variety to the game it's going to add more things that you can work on more sets to build you're going to have to see are these boots better or are these boots better rather than just saying oh yeah you pick the set boots that's it right the new level 50 equipment can be used in all seasons the new level 55 equipment can only be used in season of conquest which makes sense I'm pretty sure that's how it works right now with the kbk weapon and helmet so this is going to follow the same pattern forging and refining the new equipment will work the same as other equipment okay no change there the new equipment will be added to the game gradually and relevant events will be adjusted as the new equipment is added the specific plan is as follows here we have the early October update it says the rules for dismantling legendary equipment will be optimized when dismantling a piece of legendary equipment the higher its refinement level the more materials will be refunded so it's still going to be 50 percent at level zero you'll be able to view the specific rules via the blacksmith page after this version goes live okay so we'll know very soon within uh, yeah, i would say a month or, or maybe a little more than a month from recording this video how this will work exactly if you dismantle a piece of legendary equipment that has a special talent or is above refinement level zero before the new rules take effect you will be compensated for the difference later okay so this is nice you don't have to wait for this update to go live i guess they will track this on the back end so if you do end up dismantling something now it looks like they will compensate you later i personally would wait okay if you're going to dismantle equipment i would wait until this update comes into the game because you know i just it would just be better to wait in my opinion the equipment preview feature will be added to the blacksmith okay i don't know what equipment preview is not sure but whatever also in October we'll be getting some of that new level 50 equipment so it says a new type of chest will be added to the rewards of Ciroli crisis Ian's ballads and golden kingdom events when opening these chests you will have a chance to find blueprint fragment choice chests for the new equipment okay so it looks like this is still going to be RNG there's no guaranteed way to get this new equipment but they're just going to be adding it to these events which is nice blueprint fragments for the gloves and chest can be earned by taking part in the holy Knights treasure and hunt for history events or by opening blue blueprint fragment choice chests okay so they will be added i assume either to the existing blueprint fragment choice chests or they will be introducing a new blueprint fragment choice chest so what this means is if we take a look here i actually have three uh blueprint fragment choice chests for chest okay this one gives me a choice of it looks like six different chests this one gives me a choice of the same thing and this one gives me a choice of the same thing okay so I don't know if it's gonna be I, th I thought in my in my mind I thought that some of these only gave you like here we have a choice of the set pieces here we have a choice of everything okay so I think there's gonna be probably either a new blueprint fragment choice chest or they're just gonna add it to the one that already contains everything which would be the conquest blueprint fragment choice chest I don't know I assume that it will uh, probably come in a new fragment choice chest, but hopefully they surprise me and add it into the existing ones. So I'm going to recommend you guys, if you're watching this video and you're planning on crafting something, if you can wait, if you can wait until October, uh, I would, but it is what it is. Okay. Cause we don't know these pieces of equipment could be worse technically like yes it's a higher level but it could give you attack as opposed to like defense or health right so it's really hard to say uh but I would say if you can wait you probably should I'm gonna be waiting because I don't really need to craft any equipment anyway but let's keep going it says new level 55 equipment content in this version so this is the October update it says once this version goes live you will be able to preview blueprints for the new weapons in the combat shop of the ongoing season of conquest you will later be able to purchase these blueprints with conquest coins so again i don't know what the preview is what are we previewing here uh the schedule for the holy knight's treasure and hunt for history events will be unified across all kingdoms that have unlocked these events that's really good i know that a lot of kingdoms have them go at different times right now which is very confusing especially during live streams so i'm glad that this will be synced to just remove all uh to remove all confusion basically the arms and armor event will begin the day after this update goes live by taking part in this event you will have a chance to earn iconic crystals and other valuable awards rewards okay great I love that more iconic crystals is amazing 
amazing uh I, I love to see that next we have the november update so they're planning really far ahead with this which is really good and the fact that they're telling all of this right up front is amazing the fact that we don't have to wait like look we have a december update preview here okay that is they're planning the next four months and they're telling us now so that means you guys probably should take that advice take that information and save your blueprints save your materials because we're going to have changes to this system throughout the rest of the year okay so let's go over this for november it says starting with this update two new crusader achievements will be added to seasonal conquest lost kingdoms by completing these crusader achievements you'll earn conquest coins and other value rewards okay so there's just going to be two new ways to get more conquest coins which you can redeem for more rewards in the season of conquest shop amazing love to see that December update in the VIP shop, the cavalry infantry and archer random blueprint fragment chests will be replaced with new ones. So if we come over here to the VIP shop, okay, we scroll down, we have what is listed in these, um, in these blueprint random fragment chests. Okay. Um, so what this is saying is that when opening these chests, you will have a chance to receive a level 50 blueprint fragment, new level 50 equipment content in this version. Okay. So they're adding level 50 blueprint fragments to those existing chests. So if you've been buying them and you've been hoarding them, keep saving them because it looks like in December, they're going to add more content to them. Okay. After this update, the following equipment blueprints will be removed from the season of conquest combat shop sacred dominion hammer of the sun and moon hydra's blast pride of the condom helm of the conqueror and ancestral mask okay so that is all of the existing kvk equipment all of that is going to be removed from the season of conquest shop so if you really want one of those pieces then you're gonna have to buy it before december but you know it might actually get power crept out of the game by the time that that happens so i don't know next it says blueprint fragments for the above mentioned weapons and new helmets can be earned by taking part in the holy knight's treasure and hunt for history and events or by opening the new blueprint fragment choice chest okay so they will be they confirmed they will be new blueprint fragment choice chest so the existing ones that we have in the game probably will stay the same uh that's my assumption based on the wording here obviously we won't know until December but it looks like there will be new fragment choice chests, so they probably won't alter the uh, original ones but what this is saying here is that uh these items will be removed from kvk shop but they will be added to events that you can spend gems on so for you know for a lot of players that's uh, that's a bummer because if you're a free-to-play player then you can get all this stuff just by participating in uh kvk but now it looks like this stuff will be added to events as well as new helmets okay um and you know you could i guess farm gems and hoard gems for these events instead and then you can spend your conquest coins on other things perhaps new things coming into that shop okay uh and also new helmets are coming as well to this which is cool so um it might not even be worth it going for pride of the con home of the conqueror or ancestral mask of the night because the new helms might be part of a set bonus as well so keep that in mind whereas these ones aren't uh the above equipment can be used in any season okay we already know that the new level 55 equipment content in this version is you will be able to purchase blueprints for the new weapons in the season of conquest shop so you can purchase up to three copies of each blueprint per season so they're removing the current weapons which are currently level 50 and they are replacing them with weapons that are level 55 so probably more powerful weapons okay so if you have season of conquest coins right now and you're saving them for a weapon you might want to continue saving them for a couple of months i know december 4th is pretty far away but if you can if you can wait uh you might be able to get an even more powerful weapon uh we don't know what the stats are for these weapons they could be just attack they could be they could be bad right they could be bad but based on their higher level i would assume that they're better uh in addition blueprint fragments for the new level 50 legs and boots will be added in a future update to holy knight's treasure hunt for history and new blueprint fragment choice chests so legs and boots the update to this will come after december it looks like so probably sometime next year which is actually crazy so they're going to focus first on helmets weapons and all of the uh i guess all the everything else besides legs and boots which is crazy now we also have another mail right here and let's take a look it says we adjusted the materials needed to forge and refine the following equipment number one the legendary weapons that you currently get from the kvk shop have been changed previously forging legendary weapons from the kvk shop required 150 legendary materials and 75 materials respectively okay and we could take a look in the shop right now and see if anything has changed 
um but it looks like it looks like it actually has changed already we have 70 legendary iron 10 and 10 here and if we jump back over to the mail it says after it says forging and refining requires 90 and 45 legendary materials respectively okay so it used to be 150 legendary materials to craft one of these legendary weapons from the kvk shop and now it is only 90. so that's crazy if you've been saving up for this it is literally so much cheaper to craft it now which is wild let's see what they say uh this is also for refining by the way so if you want to refine it now it's 45 materials instead of 75 which is absolutely nuts they did the same thing for pride of the con helm of the conqueror ancestral mask it used to be 90 to craft it 45 to refine it now it is 60 to craft it and 30 to refine it and we can double check in the shop right now to see if that is the case and yes it does appear to be the case it is 60 to craft the legendary helmets now so massive change here next it says please visit the blacksmith for more details about the material consumption we will return to you the excess materials you have previously spent on forging or refining the equipment above within seven working days from today your patience is greatly appreciated so do not worry if you have crafted one of these weapons or helmets already you will get a refund on the cost from this weapon which is crazy because that's a really big refund that's 60 legendary materials you will get right as a refund for crafting a weapon or 30 legendary materials you will get for crafting a helmet and even more than that if you've refined it at all so that is absolutely insane um i for one am happy about that because i did craft the hammer of sun and moon i have this on my i think it's on my cpo right now uh yes exactly so yeah i'm really happy that they're going to be refunding me because that is a big change in the cost of this weapon actually insane how big of a difference they have changed it to be which means that it is the same legendary material cost for a kvk weapon as it is for a set piece weapon which is wild because they're literally better right here we have 70 80 90 materials for hydra's blast and here we have 60 70 80 90 materials for dragon's breath bow we could do the same thing lance of the hellish wasteland is uh 90 materials here and here we have 70 80 90 okay so yeah it is literally the same amount of materials to craft the set piece as it is for the kvk weapon that is actually insane because it does give you literally more stats which is i i don't understand that at all but that is actually crazy i guess the difference is obviously the gold cost right it's 10 million more gold and perhaps it's you know going to be harder to get those um blueprints moving forward i have no idea also if i'm not mistaken these pieces could only be used in season of conquest uh and i don't see any you know any note on the screen here that continues to say that so will we be able to use level 50 equipment in earlier than season of conquest now no idea um it seems like that might be the case because they'll probably be able to get this now now that it doesn't require the kvk shop um uh, that's my assumption that's probably why it costs the same amount i have no clue but if you are getting a refund for one of these i would say hold on to those materials because massive changes are coming to the equipment system and we don't know anything about the stats for these new pieces so they could be really good and you might want to be saving for them and the fact that they gave us basically three or four months notice for all of this is really nice of them i'm glad that they didn't just drop this out of nowhere we have time to prepare to prepare we have time to save so save your blueprint choice chests save your legendary materials uh if you can of course if you're going into kvk then you, you have to do what you have to do you have to craft uh, equipment to fight but right now is a terrible time to be crafting equip equipment it seems because massive changes are coming and they will be set pieces the weapons will not but the everything else will and these set bonuses could be crazy um I for one think that this is a pretty cool change it's nice to see that they are changing things up with the equipment system which hasn't changed very much over the past couple of years I asked for this in my video a few days ago and Lilith responded and said oh you want more equipment bet here you go we're actually working on it and that's awesome I'm really excited to see this um hopefully this equipment doesn't break the game hopefully it's not OP hopefully it's not too expensive hopefully everyone can get their hands on it eventually which does seem to be the case because they did tell us what events they come from so you know that is that is good to know uh so overall I think this is a W update I'm excited to see what happens with it um I think better equipment with more stats is amazing also keep in mind the more ways that we can gain stats that are not from random areas right so when you craft equipment you know exactly what stats you're getting okay and you know exactly how to work on that equipment 
moving forward so the more ways that we can get more stats guaranteed by actually crafting things that we want the less of an impact things like armaments and crystal tech have on the game right because the stats that we get here are not changing but the stats that we're getting from equipment is going up with this update based on the level i assume that's the case because they'll be level 55. so overall this is sort of a buff to your equipment uh in the long run and a nerf to kvk tech and armaments that's one way that you can look at it everyone's total stat pool will just be slightly higher which means the effect uh and the difference that the armaments makes will be lower which i think is good the less relevant armaments are the happier i am the less relevant kvk tech is the happier i am and that's also better for free-to-play players and all of that even if the equipment will be expensive at least you'll be able to somehow get it guaranteed eventually you can't get anything guaranteed with armaments and you also can't guarantee that you will be able to finish kvk tech as free to play so overall i think this is a decent update but of course we'll have to wait and see exactly how it works and exactly what is coming through the pipeline but i'm happy that they gave us all of the information right up front and they've already changed the price of some of these pieces of equipment so if you had your eye on the sacred dominion or hydra's blast or the hammer of sun and moon you might want to craft it now or you might just want to wait for the more powerful weapons but guys that is everything with this update i'm excited to see it if you guys are excited or if you want to just leave your comments i would love to hear from you do you think that this is a good update or a bad update maybe i'm missing something i would love to hear from you in the comments section below while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into that youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it also subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this is the nominee arc i will talk to you guys again soon peace